Here we're asked to plot and label each of the indicated points, then name the quadrant according to the quadrant table below. Let's start with A, negative 4, 2. That means I'm going to travel negative 4 in the horizontal direction and then positive 2 in the vertical direction. I'm going to plot and label that point, and I'm just going to label that as point A. Point B is 3, 8. So I'm going to travel 3 in the horizontal, 8 in the vertical. I'm going to label that as point B. Once I get all my points plotted and labeled, then I'm going to um, indicate the quadrant that they are in. Point C, I have 0 in the horizontal direction, 5 in the vertical, negative. So 0, negative 5, C. Negative 6, negative 4, I have negative 6 in the horizontal, negative 4, so down 4 in the vertical. That is point D. Point E, I have 5 in the horizontal, positive, and 0 vertical. So that becomes point E. Point F, I have 2 positive in the horizontal, 8 negative in the vertical. That is point F. And point G, I have 0 in both directions. This is also called the origin. And I'm going to label that as point G. Now, if we look at the quadrants, quadrant 1 is here. Quadrant 2 is here. Quadrant 3 is here. Quadrant 4 is here. So the signs in quadrant 1 are both positive. The signs in quadrant 2, negative, positive. Quadrant 3 are both negative. Quadrant 4, positive, negative. So I can see from where things are located which quadrant everything is in. But I'm going to go ahead and label them here too. Point A is in quadrant 2, B is in quadrant 1, C is not in a quadrant, so I'm just going to put NA because it's on an axis, D is in quadrant 3, E is also on an axis, so I'm going to put NA, F is in quadrant 4, and G is not in a quadrant also on an axis it's at the origin so I'm also going to put NA